Today on Natural Florida, we take a closer look at Casadega Spiritualist Camp. It's located in Casadega, Florida, right outside of Lake Helen. It's a really, really neat place to have a great time. You know, grab some lunch, maybe get your palm read, or talk to a dead relative. I don't know. I'll tell you what, in Casadega, you're always welcome if you bring an open mind and an even more open wallet. <laughs> It's just one of those little tour stops like anything else, but it has a serious uniqueness to it because there's a lot of things for a lot of different kinds of people. I mean, you have the spiritualist element there, but for me, a person that's really interested in architecture, it's just beautiful. You know, it's it's the houses are unbelievably nice. There's really none that are not well kept. Everything's very well put together, even though some of these houses are probably over 100 years old. They have a lot of parks there. Um, this last visit I went to, the main lake that uh, Colby, I guess, really communed with the spirits at was dried up. But normally, there's a lot of beauty. They have their own little park there. Um, if you come on Saturday, Lake Helen has a great little flea market that's uh, pretty cool to go to, too. Actually, I will tell you, while there is good food in Casadega, next door in Lake Helen, there's a restaurant there that's amazing and really, really inexpensive. So do what you do you know whatever makes you happy i personally enjoy the architecture the people are really really interesting to talk to even if you're not there for reading great stories from great people i i didn't videotape any of them out of respect and i know that they're always afraid of being exploited so you have to actually go to the main office in town to get permission and i really didn't feel like going through that i just wanted to have fun with my camera um, I was here to take some pictures of some of the crazy parks. People can, don't believe me when I tell them there's like more parks than they are people at this place. And I, I'm exaggerating, but there's a lot of parks there. I can't you not. And most of them are about the size of a plot. So I'm thinking that when some of these people pass away, if they don't have anyone to pass their home to, they tear it down and create a park. I, I'm just guessing here. Purely speculative. Um, but like I said earlier, there's nothing creepy about Casadega other than the you know, wind chimes, they, they are a bit creepy, you know, on a, a nice breezy day, just all you hear for miles around, but they're at a big wind chime industry there, you can't really fault them for actually having the actual product on their homes themselves. You see this sign, this is traditional Casadega. This is the kind of mix of quirkiness and, you know, self-defecating humor that you actually get there. I didn't take a lot of pictures of signs like that, but they are everywhere. But I just had to show you guys this park. Every time I come, it's different. Right now, they have the new addition of all these really unique bird houses, and there's always something to see there. I, I kid you not, it, it's just great. I, as an artist, I just really enjoy these bird houses. I really want to find an artist that actually made them because I wouldn't mind actually having a few at my house and I'm not a big bird fan. I just love the art. You can't do a Casadega piece and you guys knew I was going to do it without actually doing a little bit on the devil's chair. Most people have never seen this but this is a monument, a chair in the cemetery a little north of Casadega. It's the Lake Helen Casadega Cemetery, and the big urban legend, and there's a whole lot of them here, but the big urban legend is that if you leave a full beer bottle cap on, on the devil's chair, you come back in the morning, it'll be empty, but the cap will still be on it. Hey, don't kill the messenger. I just heard the story, just like everybody else. That's one of my favorites. There's a whole lot of creepier ones, but this is not a creepy video, so I'm not gonna tell you about being possessed by sitting on the devil's chair. I don't believe that crap anyway. Here's the real true story behind a devil's chair. I'm sitting here in the devil's chair in Casadega. Um, this plot was originally built for Mrs. Mary Thatcher by her loving husband, and he loved her so much. And being a devout spiritualist, uh, he came every single day to visit her. And the people in the community loved him so much and we're so moved by the story about him walking out here um, in his older years and coming to visit his wife that they actually built this uh, monument which had a nice little seat on it. It's almost like a devil's love seat. Uh, and they built this monument so that way he could come and commune with his wife um, without having to stand up or sit on the ground or anything like that. Alright, I'm leaving Casadega, so thanks for all you 
guys watching comment if you have any information you want to share with me i'd be glad to make any corrections but this is my version of castadega a not too scary town with a really really popular cemetery full of urban legends and a way too many freaking wind chimes but great food and it's a nice place to hang out for the weekend or you know spend a day or so especially if you're into spiritualism and things like that